Support for today's TIFO football video is brought to you by Manscaped, the best in men's below the waist grooming. Visit manscaped.com forward slash TIFO for 20% off and free shipping. Few players carry themselves like Zlatan Ibrahimovic. He's all things, a once in a generation athlete, a supernova ego and a seemingly immortal player. But he's also the game's preeminent hero character. He's brash, clever and brilliant playful, dark and sincere. And he's almost certainly the last of his kind. Zlatan inhabits a territory all of his own. But how does he do this? Well, an interesting piece of trivia is that Ibrahimovic has never actually finished in the top three of the Ballon d'Or voting. Long before the Messi-Ronaldo duopoly, which has accounted for the last decade, there was always a Kaka, an original Ronaldo, or a Shevchenko ahead of him. And, while he may have won league titles in Spain, Italy, France and the Netherlands, he's never won the Champions League, and nor did he and the Swedish national team ever leave much of a mark in international football. And yet, somehow, that seems besides the point. When he arrived at LA Galaxy in the spring of 2018, a full-page advert ran in the LA Times to announce his signing. Dear Los Angeles, it read, you're welcome. Later in the year, the credit card company Visa ran an advertising campaign targeted around the World Cup. In it, Ibrahimovic, who had retired from international football and was no longer part of the Swedish squad, mockingly promised to enter the tournament by himself in an attempt to save the fans from a World Cup without him. Both incidents were typical of Brand Zlatan, and of course, a few eyes rolled. At around the same period, his image became entwined with the lion iconography which was becoming his trademark, and again, it's the kind of behaviour that almost any other athlete would be ridiculed for. True, Zlatan is a role Ibrahimovic plays with a wink and a smile, but modern footballers are generally taught to treat ego as kryptonite. It doesn't make their public attempts at humility any less hilarious, but that is still the rule. He, though, wears his self-regard like a crown and the public love him for it. And it's interesting to consider why, or how it is that he's able to court that affection. Having emerged at Malmo and cost Ajax a then record 8.7 million euros, Ibrahimovic's ascent into the game's stratosphere began to accelerate. For eight straight seasons, beginning in 2003 and ending in 2011, a team containing Ibrahimovic won a domestic league title. In chronological order, one with Ajax, two at Juventus, three at Inter Milan, one at Barcelona and then finally one while on loan at AC Milan. The impression created, and which grew over time, was twofold. First, of Ibrahimovic as a deliverer of guaranteed success, but secondly, of a transient player who was nobody's possession. Now at the time, mobility between top, sometimes rival clubs wasn't especially rare, particularly in Italy. But Ibrahimovic, however, was not only one of the last players to tread that path, he was also unusually consistent. Everywhere he went, whichever colours he wore, he would score the same goals, endow the same success and garnish his teams with the same blend of force and technical flair. And that style is important too. Culturally, he's a player without lineage. Leo Messi's technical profile is very obviously of a South American raised in Spain. Similarly, Cristiano Ronaldo's Iberian trickery is enabled by the physicality preached as law in English football. The reality is never quite that neat, but in the abstract at least, most players have roots. But Ibrahimovic less so, or at least those he does have lead back to the concrete. His range of abilities aren't typical of any particular region or area, nor of any philosophy. He grew up playing street and neighbourhood football, where the premiums were expression, strength and imagination, and that never changed. He never acquired any of the identifying big club gloss, and that makes him more of a global commodity. It allows him to belong to football as a whole. And his off-the-pitch personality, however much of an embellishment it may or may not be, reflects that. His range is extraordinary. Not just the number of products he endorses, but the different personalities he employs to be engaging and which are accepted as authentic. For Volvo, he hunted in the wilderness. As Epitats played over a moody soundtrack, he stalked his prey with a cocked rifle. He dove into icy lakes, held his children in his mighty arms, and of course, drove fearlessly through the rocky terrain in impenetrable fog. For Xbox, he sat on a white throne in a cavernous mansion, 
challenging opponents to games of FIFA, which he would play with one hand on the controller. It was self-deprecating and fun. For Nike, he was deadly serious as the star of their Dare to Zlatan series. He juggled footballs in fiery hell, he defeated a blue-eyed tiger in the Arctic, and he dribbled a cannonball between lightning strikes in the desert. And many, many others in which he's mortal or otherwise. His autobiography is much maligned. It's often depicted as a work of fiction. In reality, it's a subtle portrait which describes the difficulties of life as a second-generation immigrant, the gift of an unbelievable talent, and also the realities of unimaginable fame. Like much of his career, it shows Ibrahimović as a fascinating contradiction. He is both a fantasy character from a bedroom wall and also the child of refugees forced to flee the war in the former Yugoslavia. And perhaps that great distance explains why he was able to be all things to the game, all at the same time. The fiery enigma, the generational talent, the icon, the unstable element, the provocateur and the performing ego. Today's video was brought to you by Manscaped, the best in men's below-the-waist grooming. Manscaped is now available in the UK, and suddenly we all have access to the tools for the job. Tools such as their Lawn Mower 3.0, an electric trimmer, which features a, a cutting-edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents, uh, and of course also their Weed Whacker nose and ear hair trimmer. You can now keep your nose and ear hair looking clean-shaven. Would you like to do that, Seb? I certainly would. As I get older, that gets more important, definitely. And as you get older, yeah, that's you're right, because your hair and the nose and the ears gets longer, and, and the head shrinks, doesn't it? Sure does. Alex, did you know that the battery for uh, the uh, the lawnmower 3.0 lasts up to 90 minutes, so you can take a longer shave, and I believe that that would be useful for you. That, that would be very useful. I have a lot of body hair. So, of course, both of these flagship items come inside the Manscaped Performance Package, along with other quality products, like their athletic boxer briefs, Seb. Oh, lovely. Well, you can get 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com forward slash TIFO. Yes, that's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com forward slash TIFO. So that's good quality raises at a reasonable price with 20% off with free shipping. Fantastic. And of course, you know, Alex, next week will be as smooth as a bowling ball, knocking down those pins, hey, Alex? There's an image for you. <laughs> 